I like that you'll almost crash your car. I actually might <laughs> cut my dick open on a trampoline. What? You know what the $12 Groupon was going to buy me royalty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just do OnlyFans thirst traps. Whoa. Um, okay. You guys so. aren't very picky. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we can do this at any time. Let's go in first. Ready? Welcome. Welcome back to the Picky Boys Podcast. Welcome back. Uh, let's go around today. We got a guest. We got a guest. I'm Danny. That's it for me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm Andy Perfect. Haynes. Boom. JT. And I'm Antonio. Let's start this picnic. Let's get it going. It hasn't been. It's been a while. Um, let's just start with this. All right. Well, all right. We'll <laughs> he's he's we'll, going to be thinking right, about it the whole right, time. Right, I'm going to be thinking right, about it the whole time. We'll start with this. So as you were informed last week, we do, we do this thing, naughty or nice. Basically, you pick a you, you pick a box, see what's inside. Last week, we picked one where it was. Uh, it was the the gag was essentially we were all blindfolded the whole episode except for somebody. Would you like to let them know what you did? They blindfolded themselves first, so I while they were blindfolded, I took mine off and they didn't notice. I mean, oh, awesome! Kept, you were a cheater, a heinous, zero integrity, a heinous, a heinous liar. <laughs> you said we picked naughty, and I thought that was a naughty act. Cheater, heinous liar. Technically, That's I was fair. I was more integral to the core of the thing and bad friend. Um, <laughs> he kept the he kept the naughty. He stayed naughty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys were actually nice. Yeah. If I'm, anything, you guys messed up the challenge. I was actually. I, I was thinking I should have just taken mine off and just made this idiot stay alone. Blind. I should have kicked you. I should have yeah. kicked you under well, the table. Oh, that that would have been great. All right, that's my fault. Well, I'm the game master, and there are consequences for your actions. <laughs> so, 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 wow. so, 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 so today, you will be getting the naughty box, and then we, us, us three, will all share in the in the glory of the nice box. All right, all right. Do so you know which then. box is which? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. So first, we'll just do yours. Here, this is for you. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. First of all, wait a... <laughs> is this his punishment? Wait, wait yeah. a minute. wear a hat? Yeah. I'll but it, it says cheater. It says cheater on it. It's like when the... <laughs> it's like the scarlet <laughs> letter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in an apocalypse, if I stole food, you know, I'd have thief written on my forehead. Or it's like... Well, they would have, have, they'd brand it on you. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It, it'd be no... I couldn't get into any <laughs> other so, uh, society after You've that. got a light sentence. Yeah. It also looks like you have like a crazy ex-girlfriend or a girlfriend that you cheated on. Now she's shaming you publicly. Yeah, we should bring it back uh, public maiming. You know what I mean? Like a real like mm. like if you um like I hate people that wait to uh merge till the very last moment on oh, the freeway. Oh yeah. He's, he's a big, he you is. do that? I will no, crash he, 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 I will crash my car before I let somebody into my in line in front of yeah, me. Yeah, I hate it. It's I I would give up all of my dreams to be deputized by the city <laughs> and just enforce this. I I'm I have, I'm very passionate about. It. But we should like burn, you know, like we should like put something on their forehead, you know, or like, <laughs> like yeah, definitely. Line cut. Like late merger or yeah. something. Yeah, late, late merger, merger and yeah. LM or or people that double park in a place that they're just hanging out same thing fair i i really i'm a believer of the like the merging lanes it should just be treated like a normal line fucking get in line if it was a real line you wouldn't just walk to the front and cut you wouldn't do it but now no. you're in this metal box and you feel in, invulnerable and they do it i like that you'll almost crash your car i actually might <laughs> i might get a beater car just to go spend some time a bumper car yeah i'll just get like a really shitty car and i'll just spend time on the hamilton uh merge off of the bqe when you're going from like you avoid the battery park tunnel and you go north on 278 and i'll just do laps <laughs> yeah just a demolition derby just hitting cars oh that'd be beautiful <laughs> and and I, I find oftentimes if you assert yourself and don't let somebody in Cars behind you will also follow and just like get really close to each other so no one can get in. Setting the example. Yeah. I like that. It's beautiful. I, I get stuck behind garbage trucks too much. But also, we I feel have, like that's a big Queens problem. Yeah, because a lot of other places have alleyways to throw out their garbage, right? Yeah, what is that? We, we just, else has alleyways. We just chuck it on the street and, you know, some magical truck picks it up. But I miss an alley. Don't you guys? Did you guys have alleys growing up? No, no, no not up, really. We all grew up here. I'm from Seattle. We had alleys. That's where you'd go back to like light shit on fire, you know, <laughs> look at porn, climb right. a tree. Yeah, you know, like, do you have shit. like cul-de-sacs and everything? That's the suburbs. I I grew up in the city. Mm -hmm. In the suburbs, we have cul-de-sacs, and that's not as fun, you know. It's it's just that circle, and then they have like weird rules, like you can't put a basketball hoop on the street, bullshit like that. No. Oh. Yeah, here we got something like, can't you, you can't have both a pool and a trampoline here. 
You can only pick one. <laughs> Is that Middle Village? <laughs> yeah, only in this. I sp- no, I think it's all like, no, all of New York. I th- all, or New York City. I don't know if it's all. It's like socialism. I get, yeah, I, it's like you it's can't like, have too much. Yeah. Well, yeah, they like, can't have two cool things. They're they're both, I guess, a, a danger to you know strangers passing by. They go, oh, a trampoline, jump on it, and then they're like, oh, a pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's <laughs> jump off the trampoline into the pool. You must pick swimming or flying. Yeah, yeah. temporary flying. Yeah. That's those are the choices. It's like a Stan Lee universe. You only get one power. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I feel like when when I was a kid, a trampoline was just everything I've ever wanted. What about now? And now <laughs> I think I'd hurt my back on a trampoline. I got so <laughs> fucked up on trampolines as a kid. I would tr- try backflips and I would always like travel. So I'd do the backflip and then my knees would come around and smack the bar. Oh. I can't believe those are legal. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, especially the ones without the nets. Yeah. Just fly off. Your legs go through the springs. Dude, I had I, I jumped so high once when I'm coming down, <laughs> split the whole thing open and just landed on the ground. I, oh my god. I that's, broke my ankle. That's my worst Jesus that's my Christ. worst nightmare. You deserve I, that. You know, I've always been I've always been a husky kid and it was my worst <laughs> nightmare to like go into my friend's trampoline and just fall right through or and like, everybody yeah. laughs or, at me. <laughs> or be the one that broke the chair that was already broken. Oh, yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's the worst. <laughs> I also cut my dick open on a trampoline. What? You know what? I'm starting to understand why you can't have a pool and a trampoline. <laughs> what part of your dick? The balls? There's the not shaft? A, it's got big the balls. The shaft, yeah. Were you naked? No, Swim no, trucks. dude. Dude, I've told you this before. I, I was I was doing flips, and my brother was doing flips. Oh, and I told my brother, and I went... You guys were naked together. I went, all right, I'm going to do a flip. Don't do it at the same time as me. And he went, got it, makes sense. And then <laughs> he did one at the same time as me. Kicked me in the dick midair, mid-flip. And I cut my dick open. It looks like a hot dog on the inside, by the way. It's hot. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is your dick okay now? Uh, it's never worked anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just masturbation and SSRIs. I, I was actually I was too young to even masturbate. Thank God. So, God didn't uh, have to didn't have oh, to take man. a break yet. You cut, you cut your growing dick open. <laughs> Yeah. Shit. This is all starting to come together. Yeah, that makes sense why your balls are so much bigger now. That's the anger problem. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh I have a friend who got circumcised at like age fifteen and uh it sounded pretty rough. Oh. Because if you get circumcised as a baby, you're not gonna get a boner and like hurt that thing. But it's true. A grown man. Especially especially fifteen. Fifteen's like you get a boner looking at a tree. Yeah. Is there a reason? Wait, did you really get boners looking at trees? No, I'm, 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 I'm scared of trees, actually. Just loves trees. It was fear boners. Curvy yeah, tree, man. That's a beautiful tree. Some, some trees be, yeah. Look at that stump. <laughs> get away from me. Wait, wait. So what, what were you just... How do we get... What, what? I don't know. I don't know the how 50, I got here. 50 year old circus. Uh, that's why. Yeah, why do you... I, th- I think it's a Filipino thing. Do you guys know any Filipinos? No. no. I'll ask him. I think it's a Filipino thing, though. They wait till you're like... Filipino. Kind of the opposite uh, quinceanera. But like right. the men, you get your dick cut. Yeah, hopefully he gets some good envelopes. I hope. What, what'd you just say? So my, my cousin's Filipino. Male or female? Male. Is he circumcised? I mean, uh, <laughs> I guess. What age? Did past he get age fifteen, circumcised? I guess he was. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta ask him. You gotta f- figure that out and follow up. Because I will. When you're a baby, you don't think about being able to keep it. No. But when you're fifteen, you can think about keeping it. Yeah, you have a choice. The little skin. In a little there is a baby that's like, no, nah, I want this. Yeah, European <laughs> baby. No, I, I need all the inches I could get. Do you guys watch Industry on HBO Max? No. A lot of uncut dicks on it. You guys should watch it. Good show. <laughs> for that reason, yeah. or yeah, I just love a show with an uncut dick. No, it's just like uh, <laughs> it's about like investment bankers in London, and it's horny. They do a lot of drugs. It's just good. <laughs> good TV. It's Wolf of Wall Street. HBO Max no still thing. has not. Like the app has not been available on my TV, so I don't know how to watch it anymore. I mean, I guess I can go on my laptop. What kind of TV? You got a Roku? <laughs> Do you have? Yeah, like a, yeah, like a you Roku. Got a Roku TV. Yeah, they won't sign a deal. I heard about it. What the fuck is wrong with these people? And they they got rid of like the other ones, like HBO Go and HBO really? Now or whatever. So I'm just like yeah, HBO this. Yeah, I mean, HB I'm still homeless. paying for it. HBO so. homeless. <laughs> you got to drop that thirty five dollars for the Chromecast, bud. Yeah, I know. Wait, what were you talking about? Didn't they uh, up the number you have to shit a day? I think I was I was kidding. Oh, you were kidding about that? <laughs> it's how, a line. How from, many do you think you're supposed to shit? Uh, some days for me it feels like ten. But ten shits, <laughs> you have oh. an illness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what my doctor tells me. I don't listen to him. But <laughs> no, uh, I mean, I, I was kidding. That's a line from a movie. Oh, I hate you so much. Yeah. I, I, I think probably one one to two. I think it's one to two. Two's yeah. probably healthy. I like a solid two. But like. And not solid shits, just right. two. Just get them, get <laughs> them out two, there. Get them out. I don't care about the state. 
I, I feel like I, I, nah, never mind. I'm not gonna get it. You, you ever have a, <laughs> you ever have a shit where it's almost like there's like an appetizer and it's like a little tiny shit and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you go like watch the next 15 minutes of whatever you're watching and, and you're like oh this, the is, main this is the main mm. course here, here, we here go. it comes it, yeah. it was just tickling you the coffee about. kicked in <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly I like how you've twisted the hat to just say eater yeah you know I mean I guess it, you can't catch me can't I, catch I, me slipping I can't catch you <laughs> can't you're right can't catch me slipping <laughs> By the way, there's another box yeah, here. Weren't you, <laughs> yeah, weren't, weren't you guys supposed to get the nice thing? We are getting the nice thing. Here, you want to get the nice thing? We can sure. get the nice thing. All right. So what we get, and what you have to just sit there and look at, is we all have um, Whoa. these. Uh, ever see those things on like Facebook advertised uh, Facebook where you could like um, get lordship titles? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! You buy like a square foot plot yeah. of uh, shit in like Scotland or something, right. and you get lordship titles. Well, that's that's what the winners get. So here you are, Lord oh, James dude. Holden. Yes. Wow. Lord Andy Haynes. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Daniel Moriarty and Antonio just look at him and laugh. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Okay. I feel like I was very good. I was a nice boy. <laughs> oh, you earned it. Oh man, I just watched The Crown too. I'm gonna show up at Buckingham. Like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'd like an audience with Her <laughs> Majesty. There, it, it's funny. There's like a bunch of reviews that are like, I looked it up and it says that I'm not actually a lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I didn't think the twelve dollar Groupon was gonna buy me royalty. <laughs> like, like, you can't buy your way into nobility here. You get a plot of land and a mule. They plant a tree or something. I we should know. bring back. Uh, What's it called? Not royalty. Like nobility. Lord, nobility. Uh, or yeah, lordship. nobility and like arist, arist, aristocracy. I love mm -hmm. it. You know, where you're like not allowed on certain lands. Right. I want a whole classist feudal system back. You know, that's really upward. That makes people ambitious. I agree. Yeah. And it make yeah ambitious. And also, you know, but isn't the point that you can't move between classes? Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's it, the it, thing. Is when you say you can't, that's when people really want. Yeah, that's it. that's, oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. when you the, gotta the, you gotta yeah. pull yourself up by your bootstraps <laughs> yep. and, and <laughs> jump, know, jump up to you're class. an untouchable. You gotta become noble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta become a Brahmin, right? That's the Whoa. nobles. Untouchable. What's the middle one? Do you guys peasant? Maybe no peasants. No, untouchable is definitely the lowest. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm talking about that's, the Indian yeah. caste system. You guys are talking about the British caste system, oh, right? We're all, ah. over, we're all over the mm. place here. Yeah. I, I'm not I'm sure. sorry, guys. I sorry. fucked it up. They have kings? No, they have queens. Well, they did. They had rajas, which I think were like regional kings. I don't think they had like a king united India. Mm -hmm. Buddha was a prince. Did you guys know that? He was like a prince in an Indian kingdom, and then he ran away and became a hippie. Yeah. The hippies are always ones. Wow. The the hippies that stand out are all always I, the ones that get You guys remember. are giving me less faith in the New York City public schools. For no, we knew all this. We just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never had to read Siddhartha? We we would learn Yeah, we did, but we would learn more about a guy who did a similar thing, the St. Francis, because that's you know yes, Oh, you went to yes, Catholic yes. schools? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Lucky. Did you have to wear uniforms? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Man, that's awesome. So there was girls in in Catholic school. Uh, well, uh, the, see, now our, we're our high school, catch our, all boys. No, 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 no. Girls, but they were forced to wear polos and dress pants. Jesus. So we got, we so, were, yeah. What about field hockey? Did they have that? They had, yeah, they, yeah. They had field hockey. And but, then the girls, did they have to wear the field hockey skirts on the day of the game? No. It was once a year. And also, the field hockey crowd. Not as cute as I thought. Got the softball crowd. Oh, <laughs> oh you know, I, yes. I, I, I think I knew that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bummer. Did you guys all go to college? Uh yeah, we well, did. We where'd you guys go? Marist, Marist Catholic College too, or Jesuit? It right? used it used to be. It's not. It's not anymore. I went to Baruch in the city. Okay, that's I, where actually where I live. Where I went to NYIT for a year and then I dropped out. What do you do now? Um, well, I do this. You just podcast. I just podcast. That's great. Well, you're a lord, so it's. I fine. am a lord. Yes. Yeah. So a, uh, that's, lo that's being okay. a lord actually like lends itself to a life of leisure. So you made the right choice. <laughs> yeah, now I gotta catch up. Yeah, he I makes money from his. Uh, he rents out that square foot of land out in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, it's an Every time somebody walks across that on their Highland tour, yeah, you he get, sues he them. Gets, he, gets yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sues them every time they step on it. And I yeah, slowly grow more land. I was wondering if this came with any indentured servants. It turns out no. I think it does. I think you didn't get the right group on. Oh, it was that? It was an addition, an add-on, yeah. or something. Yeah. Interesting. Well, 
Well, we got to we got to go out to our lands. You know what we should do? We should go out, see our lands and see if we can declare war on each other. <laughs> Peak my interest. Yeah, just kind of have a Hatfields and McCoy but in the Highlands. <laughs> That's actually where my people are from is the Scottish Highlands, so I'm kind of excited to finally own some land there. Oh, look at that. Do we do we own it? We don't own it, right? I, I mean, I, it's definitely like a yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you might own like a. You know, it's like a memorial plot. I was gonna, you know how Disney has like the bricks. Yeah, you it's, put? it's like that. You, you, te- you technically own it, but you could probably buy a little patch really. of grass or whatever's out there. I'm gonna go to these assholes' place. <laughs> so have you have you continued to do stand up through COVID at all? Yeah, I was going a lot. I was doing stand up quite a bit. Uh, in like the summer i was like kind of getting like oh this is great we're doing stand up outdoors and then eventually i just hit a wall in the fall i did some like taped stand up like i did a comedy central thing that comes out in like i think a week two weeks and i kind of was like all right well i did something during now i kind of want to just stay indoors Mm -hmm. because uh my wife and i are trying to have a kid and um we also have like some old relatives that we haven't seen for like a year, mm-hmm. so, like our parents. And uh, both her mom and my dad are immunocompromised. And then also she's writing for Che's show. It just was like a bunch of things where it just stopped being as ideal. So I kind of have accepted that I don't do as much stand up. And then I work on like TV stuff like that, you know, work on comedy in another realm, podcast, mm-hmm. shoot sketches. <laughs> You know, do a lot of TikTok dancing. I'm kidding. I don't do any TikTok. But <laughs> I where, wish. Where is it coming out on uh, Comedy Central? I think it must just be YouTube because it's digital. I mean, I'm sure they'll put it on Instagram and then they'll do YouTube. There's probably, I don't know. Do they put it out on TikTok? I'm sure they have a channel on every single thing. They, they, they do have a TikTok. I think it, it's relatively good. They, I, I think all like they, they're just hiring all the interns to do TikTok for them. Because a lot of big companies have TikToks that, you know, know the trends. So somebody's yeah, I there. I know a girl that works for Comedy Central who just her whole social media presence is she's probably 25 and everything is just her dancing to a song. And she is like works at Comedy Central. So she must she must be catering to that, you know. Yeah, I'm on TikTok a lot. I don't dance. What do you um, do? <laughs> do you kind of treat it like Vine? He uh, promotes his OnlyFans. Uh, yeah, I nice. <laughs> just do OnlyFans thirst traps. Whoa. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah. I, a lot get of, the full <laughs> pick. You got to pay five bucks. Dropping food and then you reach <laughs> down. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. A lot of strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> just from the back angle. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, great. No, Show I'm your just, uh, thigh gap. Yeah, well, or lack thereof. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't really post that much, but I. It's just so great. The app is so addicting. The stuff I follow, I can never like emulate it because I'm just following it as like kind of this older guy who like kind of gets the joke. But every time I try to like, you know, my friend Brandon Wardell, he was like the guy that invented that, uh, or it's, he created uh, the sheriff of sucking you off. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. It's like a meme yeah. where he created. I don't. When you you create something out of characters, it's like memes and like parentheses or emojis and parentheses to create like a shape, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like a sheriff character, and he's like, "I'm the sheriff of sucking you up." And then companies started doing it, but I could never do that because I'm, you know, I'm not cool. <laughs> I don't hang and out. Also, with, not insane. Yeah, I don't <laughs> hang out with what? vampire. But that's like half of social media. I feel like it's like some artist who's like. Uh, Fridays are vobs, you know, and you're like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah. you know, like, that's how people say vibes, and, and yeah. Friday is a vibe. I don't know. And now they have me looking up Urban Dictionary for yeah. something I don't really care about, but now I gotta know, you know? Yeah. The what do you guys? So you guys, the, obviously, it's picnic themed. How'd that happen? Um, it was really just because the set design was mm-hmm. came first before the idea. And I, I thought just the picnic cloth is the easiest to put. Do you guys anywhere. actually picnic ever? No. No? No. 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 We've talked about this before. We I'm not even sure I've that... ever been on a picnic. That can't be true. I really don't know. I wonder, you know, I've definitely been on some picnics, but, like, does eating outdoors, like, if you have any kind of setting, 
count as a picnic or do you have to have a basket i don't think you have to have a basket. <laughs> i think that counts because like, i don't think i own a basket we have all the equipment them. to go on a picnic <laughs> rent them yeah <laughs> and i think danny if you've ever eaten on like a park like bench and table i think that kind of constitutes i feel like that's just a that's a sad excuse for like if if i was just eating a sandwich on a park bench and i was like oh i had a great picnic this last weekend everyone, that wouldn't be right everyone would believe that's what, not the what, right it wouldn't be right calling it great but it'd still be a, <laughs> it'd still be a picnic <laughs> yeah i guess so i feel like pic- picnics you need you need the cloth that's I, the first i think thing. you at least need the you cloth. need the cloth that's it because we we take this on the road sometimes and <laughs> it's just easier to put this where on do you take it on the road we're just if there's a a guest we need like back a while ago if there was a guest we need like we would airbnb there and then like have a little uh, let's say there's a casino nearby. We would do a weekend and have them come, and we'd film, and then we just hang lose out. Lose our money, yeah. Yeah, lose yeah. all our money. That's fun. You guys would have a little. You would do a traveling podcast interview. Yeah. You well, give me, who have you met at a casino? <laughs> but not at a casino for a guest. <laughs> no, no, no. We would uh, Airbnb near where they lived, and if there happened to be like something to do nearby, we would stay the weekend. This is amazing. You drove all the way out there? It's, and then... we, we don't go that far. It's like... <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it was like... It was, a, decent it was two hours, two, two, it's and, a, and, two and, and a half and then hours. And half the time, they wind up canceling, and now we're just... Uh, now that, we have a that Airbnb partic- event. That particular ex- uh, example canceled, and then we just well, had also... A, yeah, but due to... Yeah, yeah. Like, due to COVID. Yeah. You so. guys aren't very picky. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you rented an Airbnb and they were like, hey, sorry, I can't make it. And you're like, ah, it's fine. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Let's go to casino. We'll just go lose Meanwhile, all of our money. This, <laughs> Danny doesn't have a job. <laughs> 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 I just do this. I lose money. Yeah, exactly. I put the I, I put this microphone on the blackjack table. That's what I bet. It's just all of our sets. I do love blackjack. Is there any blackjack open play in New York State? New York, no. Not in New York. You gotta no. go to Connecticut. Connecticut. Like, there yeah, might be some like Native American reservations, but way up north. We bought these mics f- winnings. We when I went to Aruba like two years ago, a year and a half ago. These mics are bought because of the winnings there. Wow, that's great. There's Native American reservations in New York. I might have just made that up. I'm not <laughs> sure. I mean, a lot of I picture them being in Long Island. You ever see like some of the the yeah, names of the exits, like Hapakabako? <laughs> I mean, Hot Bog, and it's like it's hard. They're, they're hard to pronounce. There is one. There is a casino. That one. That uh, it's like the what is it called? The International whatever. It's like out by JFK. That's tech. That casino. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? No. There's a casino by JFK. It's on Indian land. Is that open tables? I don't know. I feel the like if it's, on, if it's on. If it's on. I don't know. I don't know the rules. I've never been to really a casino that made me feel better about myself since coming to uh, the East Coast. Vegas, you know, I can have fun. It's like a, but like Atlantic City, God, that's a depressing fucking casino. Yeah. 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 Especially when you see like the bus of like old the people. Buses, old yeah. people who are just like spending their, you know, uh, their pension checks. Yeah. And if you try to do slots. anything that isn't. Like everything outside of the casinos in Atlantic City is the saddest shit in the world. Yeah. It's like a family of like municipal workers from Philly and they're like all smoking. Like even the children <laughs> are smoking. They all have like, you know, a diet of just like funnel cakes and <laughs> sparrow. It's fucking sparrow. depressing. Yeah, it really is. I mean, generally the, the, the area around a casino is never very good. Except, have you guys been to Vegas? No. The downtown Vegas, the north t- side of town at the end of the strip is very cool. And actually that guy from Zappos is the whole reason. You heard about that? No, isn't he dead? He just died. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rosebud just did a private to? party for him. Huh. So she was with him and she came home from the gig and she said, I think that guy's going to die. And then he died like two weeks later. Nostradamus. It was good. Wow. Good guess. Yeah, she should have bet on him. <laughs> yeah, she was <laughs> so you know, in Vegas. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> You can really bet on anything in Vegas, I've heard. Just anything yeah, that exists. Remember they were betting on like presidential debates, like they were, is he, is they he were, come out with a mask? They were betting on 
on whether Demi Lovato's national anthem performance would go over like 26 seconds. The over under, yeah, 26 yeah. seconds. It's like very strange. The yeah, and then she held that note for like a second too long. And a lot of people <laughs> yeah. lost a lot of money. Wait, so she they thought her song itself was going to last like longer than 26 seconds? Like I don't understand. Well, Isn't it a song? Doesn't the song have a specific meter? Well, the, the national anthem, a lot of people take their own liberties into like mm-hmm. the notes and how long they hold them and everything like when that. When they do the like. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and there's yeah, there's there's that like long. last two parts where people clap once an episode. Hold on, uh, James lost his his headphones. We gotta wait for him to get back. You back? I mean, I can All hear right, you through cool. my ears oh, also. Can you hear saying? me now? <laughs> I like that. All right, if you guys were gonna compare yourselves to the Beatles, which one would each of you be? Oh, that's uh. a good question. You know, I don't know. I don't want to be. Oh man, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to be like. Uh, I feel like you're kind of the wild card. He's quiet. I feel like you're almost a George. I, I like could a Ringo. see George. I could yeah. see George or Ringo. Yeah, maybe you would be. I don't know who who would be the wild card Beetle, John or Paul. Paul is definitely not the wild card. Yeah, and no offense, I think you're the Paul maybe because you reached out to me, so I kind of consider you the leader. And um, that's fair assessment. I, I, I feel like I couldn't. Also, this is myself. your house, right? I feel so. like I couldn't consider myself the Paul without being like. Mm-hmm. So I was just. Waiting. I'm gonna give you the Paul. Yeah, I was waiting. You could be the Paul. I'll and be the John. Who would you be? Who would I be? Uh, yeah, there's four of them. Eric Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a guest. <laughs> Or maybe you could be like Yoko Ono and come in and fuck it all up. <laughs> yeah. Just, maybe I'll just bring this thing to the ground. I'll ruin you guys. <laughs> I'm going to Yoko the operation. I'm going to ask one of you guys to hang out a lot. And it's going <laughs> to tear the band apart. <laughs> You're going to convince that one guy to get away. And It's not weird. A 38-year-old man just asking to hang with a 20-something-year-old. Hey, man, do you want to go to a game? I'm like acting like your, your mom's boyfriend. <laughs> we have to bond. So what's uh, the Jets? Uh, they're horrible. You, they're no, worst. obviously they're horrible. <laughs> that's no, that's not a, what I was gonna ask. <laughs> he was gonna Do say you always say. dress in Jets colors the day before the game? Uh, no, I just um, got lucky. I just got lucky. I don't know. Today you were like, I'm feeling green. Today, yeah. I, I, it's it's really a, I it's really a lack of clothes. Like I I I do a big load of laundry, and then I wear my favorite stuff first. And then I start to wear more and more obscure things. How many jet as the days is go you on. have? Just one. Just one. And it's falling apart. So it's a it's a real it's a real hard life being a Jets fan. So the Giants are as shitty, or well, they're one degree above. They've they, won one game. They, they are technically shitty, but their league is actually equally as shitty. Yeah, that's the shittiest league in the in the. So so they might go into the playoffs, even though right now they're three and seven. Wow. So three more. See, I'm lucky because the Seahawks have kind of had a nice ten year run. They you're the, did. You're, you're you're the twelfth man. Yeah, I am. I'm the twelfth man. You know what's funny is uh see like this right here where like somebody's wearing a jersey even though they suck. In Seattle, nobody paid attention to the Seahawks until like two thousand five, maybe. That like sh- like once like Brian Bosman and Steve Largent were done. Nobody heard about the Seahawks until Sean, Sean Alexander and Hasselbeck. That was like the next time that we actually paid attention. So it was like a good 12 years, like like Boeing employees. You know what were, I mean? Gotcha. Were you there with the Seahawks um, Patriots Super Bowl? Not, I watched not, not, it. Not, not at, I'm saying in Seattle. Uh, no. Because that, that was a brutal one for I Seattle. I mean, any time we lost to the Patriots was awful. It's so nice to watch uh, Brady sucking. Or like the Buccaneers. Don't they suck? Great. There, yeah, he's not doing. I I just kind of wear it as a signal to other Jets fans. Like I, I I'm, I'm here. here. I'm, I'm here with you. I'm, I'm with you. It's like wearing like it's one like of those the... cancer ribbons, you know. I uh, I and exact they, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they know, and they know that we've both gone through this thing in life, and we connect on that level. That's really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hallmark card. Though. I like how you related it to cancer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think they're very similar, and I don't mind the comparison at all. Um. So what are you what are you hoping for? Just a good did, Hope, is first the draft round, happening first yet? round draft pick. Yeah, I was kind of birthed into the Jets. Grandfathered, like in. I was grandfathered in. Right. And then throughout my life, I've seen the people that 
that grandfathered me in give up on them. My dad, <laughs> my dad just just blatantly gave up. He said that I, I didn't give up on the Jets. The Jets gave up on me, and now he's like a Packers fan or something. It's weird that you, it's almost like you're like a small town mill worker. <laughs> And it's just <laughs> killing you, but it's the only job. It is. I mean, in a, in a, in a way, it's a, it's a good, it's kind of good to be a fan because if they lose, you're like, ah, oh, the fucking Jets. And if they win, you're like, oh, holy shit, they won. Let's drink. That's wild. Yes. What about, what's the weird guy that wears the helmet, uh, paints his face? Oh, man. Mr. Jet? Mr. Right? Jet. I don't is know that- if that's his name, but I know who you're talking about. There also used to be a firefighter who would. That's like, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he quit. He also gave up. <laughs> but did he? He quit <sighs> he for some up. political reason, right? Didn't he quit because of Black Lives Matter? I don't know. Probably. I feel like that's the funny thing. It's like when those dudes, with like a very, like, um, kind of like benign character. You're like, oh, surely I can't be offended by the guy who paints his face green every week and chants let's go jets or whatever Mm -hmm. and then he's like i actually don't think black people should be given the same (laughs) rights and you're like holy shit yeah yeah all right well it's full of surprises so i'm sticking on i'm gonna be a fan till i die good for you i'm an arsenal fan and it's a similar relationship although we're not like we we straddle that perfect thing of like being always fourth or fifth place so there's hope and then we'll always like we'll beat like a team like Liverpool or Manchester City. You know, like we're competitive, but then like a little team cuz you guys know how you guys know how English soccer works where if you win your league, you move up. Mm-hmm. So there's these circumstances in English soccer where it basically be the equivalent of like in baseball if your farm league teams could win their way into the major league system. That's cool. So you'll have teams where it's like their stadium seats 3,000 people, but they're playing a team whose stadium seats 100,000. And so anyways, um, I'm, I explained so much I forgot the analogy. Um, <laughs> Arsenal is a giant team. They make a lot of money, but then they'll lose to a team that has like, you know, four supporters and they'll just be like, eh, bad day, you know. Yeah. That's more than a bad day. Yeah. Uh, I saw you did a little um, stand-up set on James Corden. Mm-hmm. What what's the difference or like I, I heard a lot of comedians say that sometimes that process is weird. It's like a weird um, feel to it. Well, it it depends on the show. Like I think Stephen Colbert still does this thing where he just records like he has a show at the theater and it's like ten comics go up and they record it all and then like they decide to release them whenever they decide to release them. Mm-hmm. So you don't even meet Stephen Colbert. You don't get like walk over and shake his hand. Which I think is fucked up because I think like the whole thing with late night is that it's kind of this, you know, it's like this uh, rite of passage, you know, and it's like this experience to be able to walk over and, and, and shake the hand of the host, especially on the stage in front of the audience that just saw you. It's like a very ceremonious kind of, it, it's just special. And so I think the convenience that they get out of, um, recording a big group of people is just kind of unfair. I also know people that like have recorded and they're super fucking funny and then they just sit on this like it doesn't come out for a year. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, that's the only person I really know that does that like that. I think late night is it's it doesn't have a lot longer left because nobody watches TV like that anymore. She's doing well on YouTube though. Yeah, but that's what I think it's going to come down to is it's going to come down to like not really the it'll just be a digital format and i don't think people will watch i think people will watch all that stuff on youtube you know what i mean yeah i, I don't see people because especially what are you guys 25 23 yeah so your generation and younger everybody watches everything on youtube and then like my group i'm 38 but i hang out with a lot of people younger but like i feel like kind of people in that they watch netflix or the streaming channels but I think people are going to just start watching things in like 15 minute increments. And so anyways, what I was saying is uh, the late night thing. It's only weird in that you. So every late night show has a booker and the booker is kind of this elusive character who lives in either New York or L.A. And you have to get their attention and usually your reps have to do it. And if you don't have reps, maybe you run into the luck of somebody either suggesting you or. (laughs) them catching you like right so they came to see somebody at a show or they just wanted to go out and see who's on the scene 
and they see you and they love you and then boom you get the opportunity like my first late night set when i did uh the old jimmy fallon show back in 2010 i i randomly got onto this um showcase and uh just happened to have the best set of the night so i got this i got the spot i up until that point i had had no tv exposure i did not think i was going to get on tv i still wasn't sure if i was going to do stand up my whole life and um you know, like I thought I'd eventually like, like want like a regular job. Um, but it's it's only weird in that you so you 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 have this one person, they decide they like you, you send them a set, right? You send them like a set and you're like, hey, here's the five minutes I want to do. And they go, oh, I don't like that. And then you have to do another set or they go, I don't like these two jokes, do another set. Or they just say, I like them. And then you have to do a couple more, you know, a couple more iterations of it or you have to make the notes changes that they do and then eventually they give you a date and then like the week leading up to it you run it for them a couple more times you send them videos of you running it and then you do the show and if it's not like i was talking about with colbert you go and you wait until you know five minutes before the end of the show and then they bring you on and then sometimes you know like fucking Rupert Everett or Tom Hanks talks too long and they go, sorry, you can't do the show today. We'll get you on in two weeks. Oh, damn. There's a story about, I want to say it's Bill Burr. It might have been somebody else, but they like, they had to fly across the country like four times because they kept on getting bumped. If it was Bill, I feel like Bill Burr would go ballistic about that stuff. This was, I think, before he was like able to go ballistic. I'm yeah. sure he went ballistic privately. Yeah. <laughs> Just his head getting all red and he started flipping out. Antonio, you're chewing on these straws pretty significantly. You got a lot of anxiety that we want to talk about? <laughs> uh, break it down for 23. What's going on? I don't know. I, I've always chewed my straws. I like it. I chew the ends of like my coffee cups. Pens? Is it like no, a, I don't chew pens. Is it like a marker? Because I'm too afraid. That when you're hooking up with a chick, are you doing a lot of nipple stuff? <laughs> yeah. Good question. Yeah. Is that an anxiety thing? No. It sounds more like, well, there's probably some kind of anxiety, but it kind of sounds Oedipal. You know, in a certain extent, you yeah, like like you didn't get breastfed enough or something. Yeah, maybe you sucker nips. I, I don't know if I was breast. I don't think I was breastfed actually. There you go, boom, S- you solved it. All right, subconscious. Well, you got me. I think <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think it could Starts be to kind of here. you know mark your cup or straw. You know, you can mark I, your I, drink. I'm big like with when that. A, your I, girlfriend too, just fucked up nipples. Yeah, it's like it's like when like a sw- rabbit was just going at him. Yeah, you just mangled nipples. You're like, that's Antonio's girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like marking your territory. It's like when like a snow leopard pees on a rock, so everybody knows this is my rock. And I'll just bite on a nipple hard. You enough just bite to on a nipple. Mark. Exactly. Change change the whole anatomy. Yeah. We I've I've never done stand up, but I would love to do it. I'm just a little it's bitch. A bad time. I'm just a little bitch baby. Bad time to start. <laughs> little bitch baby boy. I mean, the, on the stage, nobody can hurt you. <laughs> you know, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure Schultz, <laughs> Schultz got punched on stage for a that. joke once, but yeah, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, yeah, but I mean that's so I know, rare, I know. and also he's you know he's not. That's the rare occasion where you're like you know you're like oh you you had a miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch had a miscarriage. <laughs> you know, Andrew doesn't do himself any favors in that department. Same thing. I'll start with you. We'll go around. Just okay. Danny, tell me where to find you. You can find me at dmore723 on Instagram and um, in your hearts and minds. And you could tell um, uh, people what you got going on, where to find you. Um, I'm at I'm Andy Haynes on everything. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing any live dates coming up. So just check out stuff I make or post or whatever. I got a podcast called Find Your Beach. That's That's my main mm-hmm. focus. Perfect. JT Holden 97 on Instagram. You can find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow. Picky Boys Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, just uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. (laughs)